Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for your close up? Are you are you ready to introduce yourself to the world? Well, <laughs> it's official. I have a new mouth to feed and there is a new tail wagging in the house. I want you to meet Bronco, my new dog. Wasn't quite sure where to film this, but I figure uh, the floor of the kitchen is probably well better than ever because the kitchen is where this guy roams and for good reason. He is eating some wonderful food. That's what I do on this channel is I show you how to make human grade dog food. But today we're doing something a little bit different. I am introducing you to my new boy. This is Bronco. Bronco is a rescue and you're going to be seeing him here on the channel, gobbling up food, doing all sorts of things. But I wanted to share a little bit about the story of Bronco and how he came into my life because it really is uh, something divine. I had been you know, looking for a new dog um, since the passing of Parbar a couple years ago. And if you've uh, ever, you know, been in that situation, you know it's hard. You know, you just really need some time to grieve. And I've been taking it slow. I'd gone to this shelter a couple times, you know, to look for a new dog. But, um, <laughs> but you know, none, none really spoke to me. And just one day I was out running errands. Um, I live in Southern California. I was out running errands and I just had this voice in my head that said, you need to stop at the shelter right now. So, um, you know, I, I've kind of learned in my life that when you hear these things, you should obey. So I stopped at the shelter and uh, I saw a couple of dogs that looked really great, you know, and I thought, oh, the, you know, these could be potential. And then, and then I went up to the cage of this guy. And, you know, he was, he was unlike all the rest. He, he wasn't really afraid. He wasn't barking. He wasn't going crazy. He was just kind of, kind of sitting there. I, I took a few photos of different dogs. I sent them to my wife. And she said, you know, I really want you to go back to this particular one. I went back to this guy. His, his name wasn't Bronco at the time. It was something else, just a temporary name that the shelter had given him. And um, he just, he immediately came right up to me. And he just, I put my finger like right through the cage doors. And he just kind of came and he leaned right on the cage as if to say, let's go home. <laughs> and so we did. And he's been with us a few months now. He is absolutely amazing. We're, we're not really sure what kind of dog he is. You know, the shelter, they, they never really know for sure. They listed him as like a, a bulldog slash shepherd. And yeah, I think he's definitely got some shepherd in him. I'm not quite really quite sure what he is, but he's amazing. They think he's about one to maybe two years old. Again, you never really know with a rescue, but um, he has got energy, energy, energy. I mean, he, he runs and runs and runs. <laughs> And just when I think he's done, he runs some more. And I joke that he's either going to get me in the best shape of my life or he's going to kill me. And so far, thankfully, it's been the former. We're just running a lot together. No big surprise, he loves to eat and he especially loves to eat all the food that I make. Of course, everything is homemade here. So, you know, he eats really well. He's got a ton of energy and I just love him to death. So. That's Bronco. Uh, you'll see him here on the channel. He got along immediately with his sister Libby. They just, they get along great. It, it was like, you know, no tension or anything at all. They just immediately got along together. And um, yeah, so that's Bronco. Please, please welcome him and uh, know that he'll be, uh, 
He'll be starring in a lot of videos and of course eating really well. So thank you for watching. Next video, we'll get back to kind of the regular stuff of uh, me showing you uh, how to cook homemade dog food or giving you some ideas for how to supplement your dog food with human grade uh, food that's really, really good for dogs. Okay, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on The Barking Good Chef.